It's Tipsy Tuesday at 383 Design Studio. Join our digital design guru for today's Adobe Illustrator for Fashion quick tip. Most of us who sketch in Illustrator um, have learned a more traditional method of sketching, which is that you need to create each part of your sketch as a separate shape so that you can later on add color as you want to. So for instance, with this t-shirt, my front is uh, my front body is a separate shape. The two sleeves are also separate as well as the neck bands and even this little piece in the back that shows the inside back of the t-shirt. And the reason for that is so that you can click on each one of these objects. And if you wanted to make the front blue and the sleeves green and the neck bands another color, you can do that very easily. And that's still the method that you want to use. However, I'm going to show you an easier method to achieve this and it's called live paint. So with live paint, instead of you having to create each individual shape on your own, live paint is going to help you do that. So with this t-shirt, the way that we've drawn this is we've drawn the outside shape. And then what we've done is we've just drawn the lines that go inside and form you know the separate areas of the t-shirt like the neck bands and the armholes and this is also much more like what you would normally do when you're drawing by hand the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select all of those parts of your t-shirt and you want to make sure that you leave off things like stitching um, any accent lines any movement lines that you're adding in um, any brushes all that you can leave off we'll add those after we've done this part you're going to go over to what's called the live paint bucket and the live paint bucket is actually docked with what's called the shape builder tool. So if you're in CS5 or in CS6, the first thing you would see is the shape builder tool. Then you would see live paint. If you're using a version that is um, lower than CS5, you'll see the paint bucket right away. From here, you're going to choose a color. And at this point, we're not worried too much about which color we choose. We're just going to choose any color. And you're going to bring your cursor into the area you want to fill. And you're going to click and add your color. As soon as you do that, what you're going to notice is as soon as you bring your cursor to different sections of that t-shirt, um, you'll notice that uh, the area is highlighted and that is where Illustrator has found boundaries and it's going to create that as a separate shape or a separate area. So you just keep clicking and adding your color. If you want to change to a different color, you just click on a new color. It works very similarly, almost exactly like the paint bucket in Photoshop and that's actually where it came from. So I'm going to exit out of this. I'm just going to click on something else. If this is all you need to do, then you can just leave it like this. However, if you do need the actual shapes, meaning you need to pull out the sleeve shape or the front shape, maybe you're doing masking or something that requires you to have the actual shape. What you then want to do is expand and expanding is what's going to change this from just your live paint group, which is what we have right now into the actual um, vector shapes. So you're going to go, you're going to select your live paint group. And as soon as you do that in your control panel, you'll see the button for expand. And once you click on that, it's going to convert this into its own separate paths. Now, before you do anything else, you want to ungroup this and you'll normally need to ungroup twice. So we're just going to ungroup two times. And now if you click on each area, you'll see that it has formed all the shapes that you would have had to draw yourself. So Illustrator has done that for you in probably a quarter of the time it would have taken you to draw them yourself, which is fabulous. So that's your tip for today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.